her. What is up, my beautiful people? It's your boy, it's Mr. 20 West in the building. Crispy guy, how y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Feeling good, looking good. Yo, 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 yo. Before we even start this video, did y'all already watch my other gameplay? What do you think? Are you feeling it or you not? Like I said, like I promised, once a week, I'm going to drop a game vlog. Now, I'm deciding whether I should do Saturday or should I do Wednesday upload or Friday upload? Either way, I'm feeling these game vlogs pretty heavy. Um, and they're not hard to do, you know what I'm saying? Basically just record it, post it. And um, I'm thinking about doing some unedited ones too, like just my voice, no cap. Like today, we're just gonna watch uh, my gameplay and um, I've already narrated it, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, of course it's, uh, how long is this? An hour and 13 minutes, we, of course we're not gonna go that long, but we're going we definitely gonna enjoy today's vlog uh, go ahead and hit that like button go ahead and subscribe if you're watching this right now I appreciate your support we're gonna keep this going um, yeah so let's go ahead and watch this we're gonna watch this together cuz I was there I, you know what I'm saying I'm playing of course but I'm gonna try to explain some of the stuff or why I did certain things along the way okay all right let's go ahead and go Oh, go ahead, put these shades on too. <laughs> it's a movie, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Play me. Hey, look, listen, listen. I don't even know. Um, I don't know how this microphone sound. So I ain't gonna cap. I'm talking. I'm using my little headphones. Maybe. Uh, yeah. So this is my world. This is uh, Mr. Twenty West Dino Land. Okay. Last night, um, I was I spent time learning how to play this. Um, yeah, so uh, let's go over basic facts. Um, let's see my dinosaur. See, I got a triceratops. I got two of these bad boys. Okay, um, one is actually the alpha of the park. He's pretty comfortable. You know, he's fed. He's well fed. All right. Um, oh. This game is called Jurassic Park um, Evolution. It's on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One and PC, if you're interested in it. It's basically, uh, you run Jurassic Park, bro. You got hella dinosaurs. You start off, they like, get- On some real stuff, not to take away from a video, but that Triceratops and that little duck looking one, what is it called, Edemonterosaurus, whatever. Bro, listen, listen, listen. I love this game just based off the fact that it's got some real cool dinosaurs. But that duck dinosaur is hella aggressive, bro. Hella aggressive. Especially when he stand up on his legs. It's, it's crazy. A, a dig team out there to find fossils. And then they come back to your place. And um, they're going to go back to this building. Wait. Sorry. This building here. And then you get the money from there. Or you can turn them into actual dinosaurs. So I'm going to make an actual dinosaur for you right now. I'm not far in the game, so you know, I ain't gonna cap. I ain't gonna act like I got all the dinosaurs in the world. I'm actually about to do a T-Rex. So if you press X, you can modify dinosaurs. Um, you can make them aggressive. You can uh, change the color. Um, you can give them different type of genes. So this is the frog gene, of course, it's a frog. It does nothing. It's already a frog. Did you know the T-Rex is from frogs? I ain't know that. Um, this right here is like a, a little lizard and it makes my fertility go down with me um. Modifying dinosaurs is crazy because uh, Those type of dinosaurs end up being like Crazy looking different colors more aggressive less aggressive uh, the public actually knows more about the dinosaurs than the normal person so I'm guessing like if somebody like enjoys the zoo you read you read up on on this uh, lion and they tell you genetics or whatever who is family who is blah 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 that's more in depth that's why it's like uh, changing the genetics of a, a dinosaur is insane and then when you think about it like Jurassic Park was above uh, you know before it's time honestly so bruh you can make him more violent and all that
something that uh is gonna, gonna be created. And this this stuff here is like little upgrades to help incubation happen faster. Okay. I mean, Yo. five hundred thousand dollars for a dinosaur. Jesus. It's just because you genetically engineered, somebody had to work hard to get that dinosaur to where it's at. But that right there is the head of security or whatever. And um, they give you contracts. Let me see if I can. So, so this is my island rating. I got eight dinosaurs. All my dinosaurs good. And people love my park right now. Um, there's six islands all together. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. All of them can have theme parks. And as you progress, um, that's when you can go to another island. That's when it unlocks. And then you can have you can have up to six islands. And then you can travel all over the world looking for dig sites. But they cost money, so uh, be aware of that. For over time. Over time, your dinosaurs take over everything, um, bro. If you continue to go to the same dig site, eventually you're gonna run out and there won't be any, no fossils there to collect. So you won't be able to get no money. Uh, another one here, this is the fossils that was collected. You can sell them for money. Some of these are dinosaurs and then some of these you can sell for money. So you see how this is high quality, which means this dinosaur is not gonna get too sick. So you hit extract because you wanna you wanna make sure you get that dinosaur, but you can sell this dinosaur, this other fossil for cash. So that's how you make your money. Um, this is my hotel right here. As you can see, I got guests going in. All right, I got guests at my hotel right now. I can turn it off. Um, this right here is the ranger station. This is what basically feeds. Um, they basically fix anything that breaks on site and they uh, feed feed my dinosaurs and they can uh, make sure they're not sick. Right here is my ACU power station, well ACU station. What they do is tranquilize dinosaurs. You could, you could fly the helicopter. For to see, like uh, this right here is, uh, is, is back like probably a few days so I done progressed a lot now with y'all watching this now man I'm telling you it gets crazier later on dude dang my controller ended up dying so I got eight dinosaurs right now and what what ended up happening was I didn't really know the game so I Bought, I bought a T-Rex and the T-Rex actually ate all my dinosaurs. So as you can see, it pulls the food up from below and my dinosaurs eat it. Of course, they don't like the helicopter too much. Start running. First start, they only give you two, uh, two million. So I had to restart again. And let's see. Uh, I got restaurants over here. Funny store. Okay, so I started with uh, like three dinosaurs. And no, like maybe like maybe if this if I got eight here, then I had six. So I bought a T Rex because I wanted to see a T Rex. Like I wanted a starter. Of course, this is not a normal T Rex. T Rex is actually is bigger than this dinosaur that's in here. And what happened was this freaking dinosaur lost his mind and just started eating all my dinosaurs. Considering that each dinosaur costs like uh, you know forty thousand dollars up to you know, three three hundred thousand dollars plus, and it's already five hundred and fifty dollars for a T uh, T Rex. That T Rex ate all my money, and you don't get your money back if your dinosaur get ate up. You don't. So that part went bankrupt right away because I didn't have money for uh, an ACU station, so I couldn't take a helicopter and go pick up uh, or tranquilize the freaking T Rex, and then. Uh, I didn't have a ranger station, so yeah, it was just crazy. Without the ranger station, the ACU station, everything died anyway, bro. And uh, research lab, power stations over there. Um, right here is a t-shirt. And then I got a monorail going around the, the site all together. 
Dinosaurs can get loose if you have them in the wrong enclosure. So you want to make sure you got them in the right enclosure. I'm actually about to build, um, I'm actually about to build a uh, enclosure for the T-Rex that I just purchased. I let that guy do what he do. And then, um, we want to upgrade. If we can upgrade it. So, this right here is the upgrade list. So, you basically just gotta uh, do little contracts, and the contracts as they come in and you do them. You can pay for the upgrades, but you have to keep doing the contracts that they give you. So that's basically everything in a nutshell. So let's get to doing what we do. Power stations on point. Yes, sir. Okay. Include, I mean incubate. Uh-oh, got a dead dinosaur. How? How? How was he? Oh, he died of old age. Damn. So now y'all about to... Yeah, them dinosaurs, they be dying like left and right, dude. Like, if they die from old age, it's okay, because... I mean, they lived a great life. They didn't get hunted. They didn't get sick and die. When they just die of old age, that's what you want. You got your money's worth out of it. Some of these dinosaurs don't last that long. So you got some that live for like 84 years, all the way up to like 110. I try to get dinosaurs to get up to like 110 so you can, uh, yeah, so you, you can have your dinosaur around for a while. Here, what do y'all think? T-Rex needs, um, they say T-Rex like swamp areas. This would pretty much be like a swamp. I don't want to do too much work, but I want to do enough work. I think I'm going to put T-Rexes like right here. So let's, right, right. Asset has been collected. The hardest part about uh, making a new exhibit for a dinosaur is the terrain. Trying to get the try to get the floor absolutely perfect for whatever creature you're putting in there. Because uh, of course, all your dinosaurs need water, and the ground got to be just perfect so you can put water in there. You know what I'm saying? Like it's got to be. It's got to have that, basically the land has to be raised up a little bit and the water got to be in there. So if you don't do it right, man, you ain't going to have no water in there. Your dang on uh, dinosaurs, they need food. If they don't, I mean, they need food and they need water. If you don't have neither one of them, it's going to be a problem. If it's too crowded in the pen, it's going to be a problem. If they don't like the other dinosaurs that's in there, they're going to fight. That's gonna be a problem. You're gonna lose money. You lose money every time a dinosaur dies. And if, if it don't die from old age, yeah, bro. Y'all gonna see it in a second while I'm doing this. I don't trust T-Rexes, bro. Alright. So. We're not gonna get up too much. Anything. But never. Like, T-Rexes and Raptors are like two of the smartest animals 
on the game. I mean, the rest of the Amos is the same thing, but it's, it's like it's a next level with Raptors and T Rexes because well, any carnivores. If any carnivores get out of your 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 exhibit, they eating people right away. They tearing them apart. They throwing their legs in the air. They snapping their face off. Now, I want to tell you something. When you accept contracts from um, the people, uh, they pretty much, they can it can either be an easy contract or a hard contract. Um, you want to do something where you can get the money in and you ain't got to do all that extra work. Everything seemed good. Power, wait, this one say it can hold 68, so, and it's only using 17, so that's good. Good. That's good. Yeah, we Keep got that. Selling them fossil for that money. Okay. All right. So back to what we was doing. All right. So let's go to our gates. See what we got. So we're going to use a concrete barrier and I want to do it. My first ho hotel, I was so excited The reason I did what I did. It, like, now I think I got like four hotels. So, you know, it just, you see the growth, bro. You got to be, the, the smart thing that you got to do is be strategic on where you place certain things. Don't just put everything all willy-nilly. Try to organize it to where you have all your main stuff together as far as the workers. Your rangers, the helicopters you using to go out there, man. Listen, you gotta have your people close enough to the food so they can feed the damn dinosaurs. Cause, uh, bro, I'm telling you right now, the, the, the dinosaurs get hungry. It's ugly. I don't know about you, but I don't like seeing the star of the dinosaurs. I don't know if I said this in a video, but um, the hardest part of the exhibit is trying to put water in there and working out the, the way you want the fence to lay out because uh, with electrical fences, you have to have a power grid there so that uh, you can electrify the fence. All right. Um, there's that ball head dinosaur with the little ball spot up top. Uh, you you want to have electrified fences and raptors, cause ra definitely raptors, cause they smart and they will figure out how to get out your exhibit and eat people. The name of the game is don't let your dinosaurs eat people, for sure, cause it take a while for you to tranquilize them. If you do it manually tranquilize them, it's gonna be a problem. If you send your people out there to get them. They may get them before you could get them. So, either way, you got to send a helicopter to go get that dinosaur. Tranquilize them. Cause I wish they would have give uh, the rangers access to like tranquilize dinosaurs, cause it would it would be faster. All right, so let me see. We at the 16 mark. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit, cause. Uh, So once you start, once you lay your electrified fence, you want to make sure that you got enough space in there so you can um, basically put power to it. 
So I had already, I put a, a power source there. I put a, uh, put a power plant, a little small power station there. And I made sure that, uh, that that fence had enough power and enough juice to keep that T-Rex in there. Cause I don't have time to be chasing around the T-Rex while it's eating people. I done seen them eat people. I've seen that the way they eat goats, you don't, you, you gotta think it's easier to eat a person than it is to eat a goat. <laughs> so, yeah. So once I had got that power activated for the generator, I mean for the uh, for the fence, and then I got the power station there. I pretty much am ahead of the game right now. So. Oh shit. One of my one of my animals trying to get out. Looks expensive. You should get that fixed and soon. A ranger team is equipped for that. Oh, yeah. Okay, we have our runner. Time to tag him and bag him. We're using less than lethal, but remember, that dinosaur doesn't know this is just supposed to. All right. Well, there it is, people. We got the T-Rex in, in the spot. He living good, healthy, he roaming, he comfortable. Social skills not high right now, but he about to have a girl soon real quick. So it's always confirming asset delivery.